I'm Erin Thompson with Life Electric. Hey guys, I'm Kareen. I'm here with Erin Thompson. Um, we're chilling with Life Electric, and Erin's got a couple new things coming down the pipeline, which she'd like to talk about. So, Erin, uh, what's uh, what's new and exciting? Uh, well, Kareen, I've got a show in this year's Toronto Fringe Festival. Uh, it's Beer in a Glass Productions, Slut. Mm. So your production is called Slut. What inspired the name Slut? Well, last year our show was called Bitch. Uh, this year uh, we decided to stick with that one word uh, controversial title, so we went with Slut. I figure next year it'll be See You Next Tuesday. One of the reasons why we went with this title is that it is so controversial and it does have so much impact. The term slut is typically ap applied to women who are promiscuous and there's a real sense of dehumanization about it. One of the goals with this show is to reclaim the word and have it be empowering and humanizing and have it be a descriptor of just a person who enjoys sex. If you could give like maybe uh, a bit about the character, like the main character, like what could you tell me about her? Uh, well, Diana is a woman who's reached a point in her life where she's traveled through a lot of phases, as I think we all do when we're growing up. And she's at a point in her life where she's not sure how to reconcile all of those different parts of her that she's gone through, how she moves forward from that place. And so in looking at her past, she's able to get a sense of where her future is going to take her. This is the second full-length play I've written, but it's my first one-woman show, and it's my first time writing a full-length play on my own. Where do you hope to take Slut? Well, I, I would... Where's Slut gonna go? Well, she'll go anywhere. Uh, no. <laughs> I'd love to do a remount with Slut. I would love to continue to develop it. We have written original music for the show. There's five original songs, so I would love to be able to release that. So I'm looking into publication of the show, but also continuing to develop it further, maybe being able to do it with a little bit more of a band. You're like a super energetic person. What keeps you going through the day? Like, what keeps you motivated? I do what I love. I've been extremely lucky over this last year to be able to pursue art as a career. And if I'm able to continue doing that, that's great. But it's really being able to do what I love every day that keeps me going. So you guys, if you want to check out Erin and all of her slutty glory and all of her characters that she's got going on for the Fringe Festival, it's going to be July 4th through the 12th. July 4th through the 12th. And our first two shows are July 4th and 5th at 7 p.m. Check it out. Life Electric with Aaron. Loving it. Peace out. With Kareen. Loving it. <laughs>